Alright, hey guys, um, I know it's been a while, uh, but I figured I'd do a Christmas haul video for 2019, uh, even though it's almost December, uh, 30th, which is tomorrow, well, I guess now it's today, because I'm doing this video at almost, I think, 1 in the morning, um, just having trouble sleeping, I figured I'd do this video, um, and I have a question for you guys, uh, with this new, like, policy that's coming out for the age restriction videos i'm wondering if i should delete all my past videos and then just maybe get off to a fresh start because i'm worried uh and i don't know if i should be worried or not but i am worried i don't want to um get fined by the ftc forty two thousand dollars because there's no way we like my family and i could pay that um so uh just let me know what you guys think i should do in the comments below um so without further ado i'm going to show you uh some of the stuff i got for christmas and some of the stuff i bought uh for after christmas um not everything i uh got for christmas is going to be in this video uh because i got some t-shirts i got a new uh golden girls t-shirt it's pink and it says um stay golden on it and has of course the golden girls on it but that's currently in my hamper waiting to be washed and then i got um i got an, a green arrow shirt that says the emerald archer on it that also is in uh the laundry I believe, and then I got another, uh, and then I got an Edge t-shirt, a t-shirt that has a picture of Edge on it, who's my favorite wrestler, of course, uh, so, uh, but I got the rest of the t-shirts I got for and after Christmas, um, but I'm wearing, I'm wearing my Star Wars The Last Jedi t-shirt, oh, I, I also did get a, um, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, uh, t-shirt that's kind of like the one, uh, t-shirt I have that has, it's like the panel of characters, like, you got different characters, like, in different, like, panels, like, I have one for the original movie for just, you know, Star Wars, it had, like, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia and Darth Vader, Han Solo, and then I got, my aunt gave me, got me a Rise of Skywalker t-shirt, I went to see it yesterday, uh, well, not yesterday, Saturday, I guess now, since, you know, technically it's Monday today, uh, but, and it was a good movie, so I will be doing, uh, to start off the new year, I will be doing a, um, new of my, like, favorite to least favorite Star Wars movies for you guys, um, or I could do least favorite to favorite, however, like, I'll do least favorite to my favorite, uh, for you guys, just so you guys can, just so we can, you know, do an updated version of my least favorite to my favorite Star Wars movies, um, for you guys, I'm probably gonna try and shoot that within the next couple days here, um, just been really busy, uh, so without further ado, uh, I did get, I also got a new set of headphones, I just haven't had the chance to plug them in yet, I have some stuff set over on my chair here, some of this is after, Christmas and some of this is before. Um, I did get two new video games. I got WWE 2K20 and I got the Madden NFL 20. Um, so those are out in the living room. I did get uh, one new, well, I got two new movies, but uh, they're really, I'll be doing an also an updated uh, Blu ray and DVD collection video for you guys too. Um, probably maybe to help kick start the new year, but um, I did get. I'll show you guys those. You know what? I'll save those for a little bit after. Uh, for now, let's get over with this stuff. So first thing I got, which is really cool, is this is a popcorn bucket. I got a cool Star Wars popcorn bucket that has all the original movies on it. So this is Star Wars. So first one, we have A New Hope. And then here's Empire Strikes Back, which is really cool. And then my favorite. Oh, take the bow off. Sorry is Return of the Jedi. Love that one. Um, and then, uh, I got two new Funko Pops. I got these after Christmas. Um, first, they're still in the box. I haven't opened them yet. So the first one I got is Ariel for the Little Mermaid, uh, 30th anniversary edition. They did have Ursula there too, but I could only get one, so I got Ariel because Ariel is my favorite character in the movie. But this is Ariel in her human form, I'm guessing, because on the back I can see there's her in the mermaid form. But this is uh, towards the end of the movie when she becomes human, so haven't got a chance to open it yet, but I 
will probably open it here soon. I'm contemplating whether or not I should open it, though. And then I got, I just got this one the other day, actually, and that's Rey uh, from the new Star Wars trilogy. I think this is actually a bobblehead. Uh, but, you know, I'm just happy to add Rey to the collection. Uh, I'm trying to see who else is on the back here. I see, like, Kylo Ren and Lando. Oh, that's cool. These are for the, this is for the new movie, I'm guessing. Yeah, this looks like it's for the newer movie. It has, yeah, it has a, these are from The Rise of Skywalker, I guess. So, this is a Rey, still. I mean, she looks the same. But, yeah. So, I got those. And then I got, I got another magazine, like I did last year. But, uh, this time it's the Guide to the Arrowverse uh, magazine that Entertainment Weekly released, um, for the, uh, Crisis on the Infinite Earth crossover. So, that way, you guys, and I just love how it has main the main leads for all the shows on the front. So we got like a Green Arrow for Arrow. We got the Flash for the Flash. Um, we got Supergirl for Supergirl, Batwoman for Batwoman, and then Sarah Lance or White Canary for Legends of Tomorrow. And then we got more characters on the back from from their respectable shows, uh, which is uh, it's a really cool read. Uh, I like how Entertainment Weekly included the uh, cool like, photos they took for the covers of their magazine this year. So this is, of course, Stephen Amell as Oliver Queen. That's a really cool photo. I really like that. Um, I'm just showing you guys a little bit on the inside. Uh, but, yeah, I really like that photo. Uh, but this is how it opens up for Arrow. I love this. I l this whole shot of Stephen Amell is really cool. Uh, and then, of course, they had like, an interview with them and everything, and it includes, like, interviews of all the cast and all that, uh, which is really cool, or just the leads of every show, I should say, but yeah, I love this magazine so much, um, so, yeah, and then I got another gift from my aunt, which was really cool, because not only did I get that new Star Wars t-shirt, I also got a Frozen 2, uh, edition Monopoly, like the Lion King one, I was so happy to have this. I haven't opened it yet, but I hope to get it open uh, and play it with my family, which will be really cool. I haven't seen Frozen 2, so uh, I, it looks like this will have maybe some from the first movie and the second movie, I guess. It looks like. Uh, so, hopefully, yeah. And then I bought this for after... Christmas 2 for the new year, which is a Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker calendar, so this will be my new calendar, because uh, I'm trying to get back into Star Wars, um, I, st I still love Star Wars, but I, I had a wrestling calendar for last year, so now i got a new Star Wars calendar, uh, for, even though it's Rise of Skywalker, but still, um, so that's all that stuff, let me just... And then I'm going to try, I have my t-shirts behind me here, uh, so I'm going to try to, to the best of my ability to grab them on their hanger. Now this one I just got uh, a couple days ago, it's a Star Wars t-shirt, it just says Star Wars in the logo, it's in gold. I really like that, that's really cool. Uh, oh. And then uh, I got a Superman t-shirt. That glows in the dark, which is really cool. I haven't worn that yet. I've worn my other shirts so far. Um, trying them all on just to make sure, you know, they fit and everything. All right, I can't wait to wear this next shirt, which is my Reverse Flash t-shirt. Because the Reverse Flash is one of my favorite villains. I love Thawne. He's, uh, he's a pretty cool guy. And then, really looking forward to wearing this shirt. Uh, it's an arrow t-shirt and it says you have failed the city on it uh shout out to chainsaw reacts for um letting me know that this shirt exists uh so and then as i said i got two more movies uh here dead to the collection one's actually a repeat movie i already have like three copies of but still first one i got is the live action lion king remake uh I, I liked it for what it was. Not too big a fan of these live-action remakes, but uh, Lion King's one of my favorite Disney movies, so of course I would get it, even though the cast is completely different. The only original cast member that I believe returned for this movie was James Earl Jones, and that was it. Uh, great to see him back as Mufasa, so yeah. 
And then I got uh, Star Wars uh, Return of the Jedi, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, with this with these new covers. I'm going to work in tr on trying to get all the movies with these uh, cool new covers on them. Uh, I'll have to see, but this is my third copy I have of Return of the Jedi. Um, so I might use this one in the video, or I might use the Steelbook copy. It all depends. Um, but yeah, this is... So, these are the two movies I got. And, as I said, Ed, I will be trying to do a new Blu-ray and uh, DVD collection update for you guys. And let me guys know what you think in the comments I should do. Uh, should I go back and delete all my other videos and... Uh, I have like a clean slate because as I said, I'm really worried about this or do, or about this whole thing with the FTC and all that. And, uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments below what you guys think I should do or if I shouldn't like really worry about it because I'm legitimately worried. Um, so yeah, I didn't swear at all in this video, but, uh, I don't know. I might make it age restricted, but all right. We'll have to see, though, but uh, I will hopefully see you guys within the next couple of days to be, as I said, I am planning on doing a updated uh, version of my uh, Star Wars, of my favorite Star Wars movies from least favorite to favorite. Um, going to rank them from least favorite to favorite because that's how I like to do things, like do my least favorite to my favorite. Uh, so that way the build up to my favorite gets even more like exciting. And uh, that way you guys can but I I have a pretty good idea you guys can guess which Star Wars movie is my favorite. <laughs> um <clears throat> and then I'll try and do a Blu-ray and DVD collection update for you guys as well. Uh as I said, it's like two in the morning. It's around 1 30, 2 in the morning. Um so I'm gonna try and go to sleep now. Uh so again I will try to uh get you guys I will try to, you know, make more videos within this next new year, but it all depends, you know, on how busy I get with college and everything, and, uh, yeah, we'll just see, um, I'm gonna see maybe if I can film a little bit at Steel City Con when I go, uh, with my comic book club, I went in December, uh, didn't get, I did get, I got two things, I got an autograph, and then I got, like, a poster to hang on my wall, it's a Once Upon a Time Season 5 poster, and then I got, a Tristratus autograph, but I'll show you the guys that in another video, probably within the next day or two. Um, I have to see about that, but yeah, until next time, guys, as, you, as I said, I'm going to try and get to bed, get some sleep, and, you know, be ready for the new day. Um, I also got Disney Finney 3.0. I keep forgetting to say that. I got Britney Spears perfume. <laughs> All right, uh, see you guys later, Ho and... Stay, stay tuned because plenty more videos to come. Till next time, see you later, guys.